Hi, I'm Dr. Melissa Wilson-Sayers. I'm an assistant professor here in the School of Life Sciences and the Center for Evolution and Medicine in the Biodesign Institute at Arizona State University. My area of research is in studying differences in DNA across people, across animals. Every living thing has DNA in it. And what you might not know is that you can look at it. And so today what we're going to do is run through an experiment where you can extract DNA from living things with items you can purchase in the grocery store. So today we are going to extract DNA from bananas. So should we just get started? Any sort of bag with a, a zippy top will work just because you're gonna be mashing bananas in here and you don't want it to get all over everything. One of our bananas, our container for our warm salty water that we'll be using. And so let's first start just by mashing some bananas. But this is the fun part, just get in there, mash it. Just mash it up, probably about a minute. So after that, we're going to fill our cup with hot water and salt. So. And once you have the salt dissolved in the water, then we're gonna mix that in with our banana mixture. And now we get to gently slosh it around. Okay, and here's the next step where you gotta be careful not to get it too foamy. We're gonna add a half a teaspoon of our dish soap. And now we wanna gently, because now it's got the soap in it, it'll really get bubbly if we're too aggressive with it. Okay, and now we're gonna set this aside and we're gonna get our coffee filter set up with our funnel. And here you wanna be careful if you're a little too excited dumping it in there, you'll get slushy banana stuff coming out because it will take a while. Oh, can you hear that? And now we wait. So now that we've patiently waited for all our banana mush mixture to go through our filter, we have the last and most exciting step, which is adding our isopropyl alcohol. We want to really try to keep the alcohol separate from this mixture because the DNA is gonna precipitate or come out into the alcohol mixture. And we'll try to add two and a half to five centimeters or one to two inches to it. And now we wait. The longer you let it sit, the more separated you'll be able to see the two different uh, parts of it. And, and sometimes we'll find that you'll see lots and lots of DNA there. Sometimes you will only see a couple of small strands. And that's part of science. But those little bubbles are sticking along strands of the banana DNA. Oh, look at that. Oh, this, this actually, all of this right here is the DNA. It's just kind of sticking there. All right, and so we'll show you some other pictures of experiments that we've done extracting DNA out from bananas and potentially a couple other fruits where you can see some of the different outcomes that you can expect. Thank you for watching. We do have the description for how to do this at home or in the classroom. We have handouts that you can use. So if you are interested in taking DNA out of the cells from the food you eat, you can play along at home. Thank you.